everybody. Welcome to Variety Conversation. I am Lady Walker. Y'all, as a woman, full-time heterosexual, that is, when I see another woman who is cute, beautiful, pretty, attractive, good-looking, or whatever synonym fits the bill, I don't have a problem with saying like so. Therefore, I can say to me, Tony Braxton is aesthetically a beautiful woman. And I know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And what I see as beautiful, many of you may not and vice versa. Okay. Anyway, enough said on that. Here's the 411. R&B singer Tony Braxton said in an interview with The Guardian that she regrets not having more sex, y'all, when she was younger. She didn't specify the age. Now, I heard that she did get around more than a bit. Mm -hmm. Also, she regrets that she didn't drink more, party more, and smoke more. Her religious upbringing stopped her from doing a lot of the things that she should have done. Wow. <laughs> it seemed as though she wanted to be a WAP, a.k.a. WAP person, wayward, rebellious, fast, and perverse type of person. What can I say about that? Well, how about a, wait a minute, Tony. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's her prerogative. It's just interesting that that is something that she regrets not having done. She could just be pulling our legs and did those very things. Just saying. For me personally, to have lived such a reckless and destructive lifestyle would have been something I absolutely regretted. Of course, there are some things that I regret doing as a teen. And uh, I cannot undo what has already been done. If I could take it back, Lord knows I would. Anyway, being promiscuous with a multitude of random people is a setup for all kinds of STIs, STDs, HIV, or herpes. And engaging in drugs and alcohol can bring about addiction and just have a negative impact on your life not to mention how such a lifestyle can age you prematurely if tony had uh, done more of the things she regrets not having done her present life could be totally different in a not so good way and her life is probably a lot better off because of her religious upbringing, especially since it supposedly played a part in her shunning this debauchery lifestyle that she so regretted not indulging in. You have to be careful who you look up to. You have to be careful who you listen to. You have to be careful who you seek advice from because it can lead you down the wrong path. There is nothing exciting and glamorous about being promiscuous, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, and wrongful partying. Although, rap music make it seem like it's the lifestyle to be lived and adored. When you are raised to respect yourself and your body and not be led astray by foolish desires and downgrading yourself to hoish activities, that is something to be commendable and nothing to be ashamed of. There is value in integrity. There is value in preserving yourself. There is value in being moral. Plus, you don't have to be religious to respect yourself and your body. If there be any young girls who come across Tony's past regrets, I hope they don't think that such a regretted life is one to aspire to in order to have fun in life. Because it isn't. There are many ways as a young person and young adult wherefore you can have fun without engaging in self-destructive behaviors. 
I don't know if Tony meant what she said or not. It could just be a play on words by trying to stay relevant or a ploy to say her new album, Spell My Name, that's out now. It is never a surprise for me to witness the things celebrities will do and say to sell their products. Yup. According to Denny L., he says, I believe celebrities just say stuff to stay relevant. And in the news, they never want the public to forget about them. It's just too bad she didn't say anything positive to be a better role model to younger people. Mm-hmm. Chess Rockwell says, Tony just pushing the Luciferian agenda, which her handlers had her perform this ritual which trying to cast spells. Y'all, Tony is 52 years of age, and at that age, when you look back over your life, and all you can think of was your regrets that you didn't get a chance to have more sex, drink more, smoke more, and party more, well, you are messed up. Oh, yes, you are. Now, that's not something that a young person or an older person should seek out as a normal rite of passage. The guy from Walgreens says, Beauty and money cannot buy good sense and personality. She's still pretty, so I'm sure there are plenty of men out there to give her a tour on what she missed out on. Don Q says, Wow, gorgeous Tony B. What the heck? She encouraged smoking, extra sex, and unclean living to the younger crowd. She should have cancer, STDs, STIs, multiple abortions, car crashes, overdoses, and never saw 30. Being smart with your time and body is not to be regretted. Religion or not, avoiding certain behaviors give a person a good life. Exactly. Okay, Captain Cad says, people hype up sex way too much. That's why people try to lose their virginity so young. Yep. And Cookie Richardson says, she's not telling nobody's teenager that. She's speaking her mind about herself, which she has the right to do so. She's talking about herself. Yeah, and I get that too. I, I don't think she's... I don't think she meant to lead somebody young astray, but listen, Tony has young girls and young women who look up to her, and they may look at that and see that as a way to have fun, okay? This is not the kind of fun that these young girls need. As I said before, there are many healthy ways that a young person can have fun without all the sex, drugs, alcohol, and partying, okay? Okay? Mm hmm. But like I said, everybody has an opinion about something. Anyway, love, feel free to share your perspective on said topic discussed. And in the meantime, y'all come back and visit me when you can. Ta ta.